Hello everyone, so this video I want to show you how I can go about painting a ball or any object by breaking down the steps and what is required in this uh, object. Okay, so this is a black ball and then I can break down its layers by looking at its fundamental color and the light that is hitting it. So mainly I see two lights. One light from here and then another bounce light from here. So two lights. Okay, and then there's the black ball. So there's actually, essentially if you do it right, there is three fundamental uh, colors or, or layers or steps to do. Okay, so that's how I break it down. So first I have the uh, outer silhouette of just the ball. Oh, don't mind my drawing, it's not very perfect circle. But you get the idea. So it's just the, the silhouette of the ball. Okay, so as I mentioned before, first one we want to talk about this light. Okay, so this light hits it, and then I'll just add this uh, circle over here. So this light hits over here, and then it has this uh, spread out here. So it will spread out like this. Uh, actually, let me draw on another layer, change this to red color. So it will just spread out to the outside. You see how it fades off to the outside over here. So this will be one gradient. And then you can see the color change. So the light source is strongest over here at this spot. So it has a specular and then it just spreads out. Oh, so it just spreads out like that. So this is, so after it spread out, you have this blue color at the side. Oh, so you can see the main color of it is a bit brighter. And then the main white light source is more white because it's the strongest at its center. Oh, so after that, it slowly spreads to the outside again. So there is going to be another spread over here and then you can see the soft gradient on the outside again. So I have this marking over here. So it starts to spread to the outside. So this is like a front light. Oh, so we understand the lighting. We understand how we paint this. So it has a front light over here and then it will slowly, it will slowly uh, spread over here. Oh, so we have the gradient spreading outwards. Oh, so I hope you understand. So we have the gradient like this. Okay, so same thing at the outer circle. So if I just turn off this, the outer circle, there's this bounce light hitting the back. So imagine um, there's a very strong light hitting this blue color wall behind. And then because it hits the blue color wall, the blue color wall reflects the light back onto this back side of the ball. Oh, or sometimes people just put a three point lighting. So there may be an art, another uh, artist over here, he purposely create another light to just bounce over here. So that could be the case also. But most of the time, uh, when we see a nicely a normal lighted object, there's a rim light. So this is what it is. This is a rim light. Oh, you can see the same rim light on the white ball as well. So I'm only going to talk about one ball, but because it's basically the same idea. <laughs> then, uh, so there's this light hitting it. And then once again, the light hits it and then it spreads. So it will create a gradient. Um, towards the outside. So uh, let me just draw over. So the gradient will just, uh, let me use orange. Gradient will slowly stops inward. Oh, so it will stop somewhere around here. Dot 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 dot. Where it's just black. Oh, so it, it's not too much because it's a rim light. Oh, so same thing at the bottom. There's this actually at the bottom is more bluish. And then there's also so there's a bluish bounce light from the bottom floor and then it just slowly spread out. Oh, so that's the reason why there's a gradient and then that's why it stops over there. Okay, so if I do another mouse over drawing, I just want to show you everything. So it's something like this. Okay, so I don't hope I don't confuse you. So let me zoom zoom in. So the center part, this is 100 percent And then the, the color was spread to the outside to here, and then this is zero percent. And then here, the sec second color, this will be 100%, this whole area of uh, green oh, is 100%. And then it, by the time it reaches this second line here, it's 0%, see? So by the time it reaches here, it's 0%. So same thing over here, the orange, the where I signifying the rim light, the back light. So at the start, it's 100%. And then when it reaches the center part a little bit, not too much, it becomes 0%. Oh, so that's why I'm drawing like this. And then I hope you uh, understand and 
know where I'm coming from because next steps, I'll just go through technically how I do it. And then uh, this is the reason behind it. Okay, and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.